All right, mathematicians. Uh, so far this week, we've been working with the Pythagorean theorem and just learning the mechanics of it and the parts of a right triangle. But uh, today we're going to start in on actually seeing application, a use for the Pythagorean theorem with some word problems. So I want to go over just a couple of steps uh, that we'll be using today with the Pythagorean theorem and word problems. And step number one is simply to just read the problem and draw a picture depicting the situation. Okay, so we're gonna to have to read through it and then we're just gonna sketch a picture of what we think it looks like and we're gonna include any measurements that are given and uh, step back and look at it and, and then we're going to try to determine, you know, uh, in step number two, we're gonna to try to determine whether it's a leg or a hypotenuse that is missing. And that's going to be critical for us when we go to uh, substituting in our numbers into our uh, Pythagorean theorem. Step number three is to substitute the known values into the Pythagorean theorem and then to solve. And uh, just a little note, these are word problems, so we need to be sure to include tags in our final answers. So I'll you can stop this here and make sure you get these copied down in your spirals and then we'll pick up uh, whenever you're ready. Here's our first situation. We've got a flat screen TV and it's in the shape of a rectangle. It has a width of 36 inches and a height of 20 inches. And we're trying to find the diagonal length. Okay, so when we sketch this, it's in the shape of a rectangle, and the rectangle has a width of 36 and a height of 20. So, what I'm picturing, and, and if you just think about the TV, your TV at home, it, it, it's wider than it is tall, okay? And it said that it was, the width was 36 inches, so we've got 36 inches here, okay? And then it said that the height was 20 inches. So let's go ahead and say the height is 20 inches. And then it says to find the diagonal, okay? Remember, diagonal is from one corner to the opposite corner. So this is the line that we're looking for. We're actually looking for this. So let's stop and look at our picture that we've drawn that, that shows this situation. And there is a right triangle there. Here's our right angle. So our 36 and our 20 are the legs of our right triangle. So when we plug this into our theorem, our Pythagorean's theorem, we're gonna start out with a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we're gonna go ahead and let's use 36 inches for our a squared. So that's 36 inches squared. And let's use for b, let's use 20 inches. So that's 20 squared is equal to c squared. All right, well, you can do 36 squared on your calculator, and we're gonna come up with 1,296. 1,296. 20 squared is 400. So that is still equal to c squared. Since c is already isolated on this side of the equation by itself, let's go ahead and do the addition here. So we've got 1,696 is equal to c squared. Our last step, as always when we're working with Pythagorean's theorem, is to find the square root. Because we're not interested in what c is, we want to know what, excuse me, what c squared is, we want to know what c is by itself. So we find the square root of each. And if you do that on your calculator, you're going to come up with, if we round it to the nearest tenth, it's going to be 41.2. And we're talking about inches in this. So the diagonal would have a length of 41.2 inches. All right. And let's try one more example before we get started on your own. And on this one, uh, the situation is we have a 20 foot piece of wire. And that wire is attached from the top of a pole to a stake in the ground, eight feet from the base of the pole. And it says to find the height of the pole. Well, first of all, I'm assuming that pole is upright. And attached to the top of it is a piece of wire. 
and it's going to attach to a stake in the ground. Here's our stake in the ground. That's it said it was how far away? Eight feet. Okay. And so our wire is coming down like this to that stake in the ground. And that wire was 20 feet long. So we have eight feet here, 20 feet here. And if we stop and look at this, where does it make sense that our right angle would be formed? Absolutely. Where the pole and the ground uh, meet is our 90 degree angle. So in this case, are we missing a hypotenuse or are we missing a leg? Exactly. We're missing a leg. So this is what we're looking for. Let's just call it A. So when we plug this into our Pythagorean's theorem, we have A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. We know that C is always the hypotenuse. So when we plug this in, we don't know what A is, so we're going to leave it as A squared. We're going to substitute 8 in for B, so we have 8 squared. And for C, we're going to substitute in 20, so we have 20 squared. Let's go ahead and simplify and do the squaring that we can. So that would be A squared plus 64 is equal to 400. On this one, if we take a look at it and we look at the two halves of our equation, our variable is not isolated. It's not on one side of the equation by itself, which means we're going to have to do the inverse. They're adding 64, so we're going to subtract 64 from both sides. When we subtract 64 from both sides, we're going to have A squared is equal to 336. All right. What's the last step when we're working with Pythagorean Theorem? Absolutely. We've got to square root both of those. So we're going to get A is equal to, I'm going to come over here because I'm running out of room there. So I'm going to come over here and just say that A is equal to, and when I square root 336, I get 18.3 if I round it to the nearest tenth. So that would be 18.3. So our solution would be the flagpole is 18.3 feet tall. All right. I hope that kind of gets you started on these word problems. Uh, as you're working your way through, be sure that you draw a picture, label it, and that's, what, that's what's going to tell you whether you're missing a leg or a hypotenuse. Good luck on this, guys.